Good morning, Sarah the Lab. Um, good, good to morning. have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Let's talk a little bit about the wolves, in mm -hmm. fact. And uh, it's been very successful. It's been written up uh, plenty. How did it happen? How did it come to you in that form? I started writing the play, I guess the inspiration hit after I went to this exhibit at the New Museum in the summer of 2014. And after I went, I wrote the play kind of in all one burst in about three weeks, uh, holed up in my apartment. Um, and there was something about going to this exhibit, which was a survey of contemporary art from the Middle East and North Africa in the New Museum. Uh, and it was an incredible exhibit. And a lot of it was about the daily political realities of these artists who were Iranian and Syrian and Iraqi. And there is something about taking in this art and then listening in on people's conversations uh, on the Bowery in Manhattan as people were drinking cold brews and looking at their iPhones and then talking about drone bombings. There was just some, um, there was such a huge distance between where we were and what we were taking in. And there was something about that distance that for some reason uh, made me start writing what became the first scene of the play as I was on the train back to Brooklyn on my phone. But why soccer? How, what made you move into the soccer image of... Of the girls? Yes. Well, I played soccer as a kid from uh -huh. age 8 to 14. I played soccer. Uh -huh. uh, I was okay. And soccer, I was also really interested just in their bodies on stage, which is why I think sports translates really well actually onto a stage uh, because whenever I'm writing, uh, I feel like a challenge is always what are they actually doing? What are the actors actually physically doing with their bodies while they're speaking? And I was really interested in this sort of counterpoint between what their bodies are doing and what they're saying. About right here. Much has been said about the dialogues. I've read, you know, plenty uh, of reviews talking about dialogues, and a friend of mine who's seen the play also mentioned that oh, yeah. how they overlap. I think there's a review that mentions, you know, there's sort of a cacophony at a certain point where yeah. everybody's talking over everybody else's dialogue. But I think you have your own take about that. I kind of heard it as a musical score and orchestration, and I knew on the page it's laid out almost musically because there's one column of uninterrupted text and then there will be spurts of dialogue on the side, uh, which was really me just hearing these nine voices, like nine different musical instruments almost, and knowing like when I wanted a little bit of violin here or a flourish of horns there, or here we have like the triangle and the oboe having a little duet on the side while the main piece continues over here. And what brought you to Berlin College? When I was in New York, I realized that I actually wanted to get a master's to get an MFA in playwriting. And um, at Brooklyn College was my top choice because I wanted to study with Mac Wellman and Aaron Courtney because a number of my favorite playwrights have actually come out of this program. And I feel like what the program is really excels at is, um, is just encouraging people to commit to their planet and to stake it out as their own and to continue on that journey. Like there are certain uh, MFA programs where they kind of churn out carbon copies of the same sort of writer which I feel like at Brooklyn College, everyone's just encouraged to be themselves, uh, which sounds a little hokey, but I think it's true. <laughs> How did the MFA uh, program here at Brooklyn College change you, change your writing, change your person? You know? I think my writing, I think it's just clarified. I feel like it's been clear, like my project as a writer and what I, my ambitions are and the sort of theater I'm attempting to write has just been uh, 
yeah, like sifted here. And I feel like I have a better idea. And I think part of it is also actually having had the wolves produced while I was going to school here. I think the combination of those two have, um, have been enormously instructive in terms of what I'm, what, what draws me to write for the stage in the first place.